Hello and welcome back to Sales for Sale YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have seen that what is record triggered flow and it types with the help of an example. Now in this video, we'll be discussing about that how to practically implement the fast field updates in record triggered flow. So we'll be taking a scenario of a company that is HP and who wants to categorize their opportunity on the basis of an amount. If the amount of opportunity is more than 1 lakh, then the opportunity will be categorized as in high. And if the amount is less than 1 lakh, then the opportunity will be categorized as in low. So we'll be implementing this scenario practically in our Salesforce org. Now we'll be dividing this whole scenario into two parts. First will be that you need to create the field onto the opportunity object to store the priority. And the second will be you need to create the flow onto the opportunity object so we need to go to the object manager in object manager you need to search for opportunity you need to go opportunity in the opportunity fields and relationship and new now we need to choose the field uh, field as in picklist field why because we will be having a defined values that is high and low so that's why we will be choosing the picklist field so we'll be going for picklist next we'll be giving the name as in prior priority uh, use global picklist. Now we'll be entering the values and first will be what high and the next will be what low. So all, all the things will be same. Uh, it will we'll not be making it required. Next. It will be visible to all of them. Next. The page layout is yes, and say we have successfully completed the first step for creating the field. Now we'll be implementing the second part of the scenario that is flows. So now you need to go to the setup. In setup, you need to find out, uh, you need to search out that flows. You need to click on to that. And after that, there will be an option of new flow. You need to click on to that new flow option. There are six kinds of different flows, which we have discussed earlier in the previous videos as well. But here we'll be choosing the record triggered flow because we need to create the record triggered. Now in this record triggered flow, whenever you'll be choosing the record triggered flow, they will be asking multiple uh, questions from you that from on which object you need to create the record triggered flow. That is what? opportunity because what we need to do whenever the opportunity record will be created okay the second option is that configure trigger that means when you need to execute or when you need to invoke this uh, record triggered flow on which operation that is if the record is created updated created updated or deleted so we'll be choosing that whenever the record of opportunity will be created we need to execute this scenario right now the third option is set entry condition that means what kind of records will be included in this record triggered flow okay so you need to set the condition in this scenario we'll be putting the condition that if the opportunity amount is greater than zero then only those records will be coming into this record triggered flow right so we'll be going to all conditions we'll be choosing that what will be the field that is amount it should be greater than what zero okay so whenever in any of the opportunity will be created whose amount is greater than zero only for those opportunities this record triggered flow will get executed it will not get executed for the opportunities which will be having no amount or the amount there will be in the negative thing is it clear now the another option is optimize the flow for that is that we are having two options fast field updates and action and related records so here we'll be choosing the fast field updates why because we need to update the record on the basis of the condition before the record is saved into the database okay so we'll be choosing that and now after that there will be a particular thing that we need to add that will be a decision element decision element is a kind of an if and else element in which we will be putting multiple conditions which will be having that if the amount is greater than one lakh then what you need to do and if the amount is less than one lakh then what you need to do okay so for that we will be choosing the decision operator here we'll be giving the label that is check opp amount now in this decision uh, element there are different outcomes you can define and right now we only have one condition that either it is greater than or 1 lakh or less than 1 lakh so we'll be only choosing the first outcome that is check greater than okay uh, we'll be giving the api name as in same now what will be the thing now you can see there there are the global variables which are available okay so whichever record that will be invoking or executing this trigger that particular record will be stored in this global variable of record you can see that record opportunity okay so all the values of that record will be stored in which variable this record variable so you need to click on to that you will be searching for amount that is 
here. So on to that record, what will be the amount if the amount is greater than or equal to 1 lakh and we'll click on that. Now you can see there are two arrows that has been come that check greater than and default outcome. So this check greater than will be acting as an if and the default outcome will be acting as an else part that if the amount is greater than 1 lakh then it will be coming into this part if the amount is less than 1 lakh then it will be coming into this part is it clear now let's see like whenever the amount is greater than 1 lakh then we need to update the porch right so we need to click on to that and you can see that there is an uh, option that is it is showing that uh, update triggering record okay other than that you can choose the update records as well but we'll be choosing that uh, this one this option and here we'll be giving that update high priority okay api name now how to find the record to update and set their values use the opportunity record that triggered the value so we need to update the same record that triggered the flow yes or no okay so we'll be choosing that if you want to filter something you can choose that but in this current scenario we do not need to filter anything so we'll be setting the field value which field value you need to update so i need to update the priority field value and what value should be there it should be high or low so it should be high and that. so we have done on to the first side now we need to do the same thing for the else part as well that update triggering record uh update low value we'll be choosing this filter and it will be priority c and it will be low right done so this is how you'll be doing that and as soon as this whole thing will be done it will be ended and once this flow will be ended the whole all the values will be updated into database now uh, how you can check this thing you need to save it so i'll give the update opp priority okay and we need to go to that and save so now we have saved this uh, particular flow now you you will be having two options either you need to check it uh, in this flow only so you can go for the debug option that it will be asking you one uh, simple record that you will be giving as in sample record and it will be executing this flow according to that sample record and if you want to test onto the live records then first you need to activate this so we are activating it now it is it has been activated now we'll go to which object the opportunity object to check this thing and we'll go to opportunity object in this opportunity object we'll create our uh, first record that will be first opp and uh, right now i'm giving amount as an eighty thousand only right and there's a priority field right now it is none you can see that we'll set the stage because it is required close close date and save now we'll go to details now the priority of this record should be updated to what yes look so we'll be going for details and you can see eighty thousand is the amount and the priority is automated check to look now we'll again go to opportunity and we'll create the next record that is second opp and we'll give the amount as in one lakh twenty thousand close date will be anything stage will be also anything and that's it we are not changing the priority it is uh, uh, right now as well none and we'll save it we'll go to details and in details you can see amount is 1 lakh 20 and the priority is automatically high so now let's understand that what is happening in the background of the salesforce org for this scenario right so what we have done we are creating a record okay this will be the page from where you'll be creating the record these will be the fields and the save button the record eventually will get saved into the database so this is database right in between that database we have created a flow that is fast field updates and that is also known as before save so before save means once uh, it will be uh, the flow will be there in the middle of that record and the database that is before save that we have created in which we are doing that updation of the record on the basis of priority yes or no so now what how the scenario is working that as soon as you'll click on save the record first goes to the before uh, save flow that is fast field updates whole processing is done here it will be it is checking that the amount is what it is less than or greater than one lakh okay according to that it is updating the field values and then the record is getting saved into the database so this is how the whole things are working in the background of this flow 
I hope you got the idea of fast field updates in record record flow. Now in the next video, we'll be practically implementing the action and related records in the record record flow.